all factory progress for the third week of January. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Giga Shanghai. At the northeast corner, the new steel building has grown from a handful of steel girders to a structure nearly ready for the installation of finished floors, roof, and wall panels. The loading area, which last week had been cleared out in preparation for imminent deliveries, has now been refilled and packed to the gills. It's not just that the parking spots are all full, but the gaps between them, with a lot of extra vehicles tucked into empty spaces around the site, and loading trucks are full and active. Giga Shanghai is at least in ludicrous mode, though it may already be in plaid. The new steel structure to the north of Phase 2 Model Y Assembly Building has roof and floor segments already attached. There's also a segment where this structure attaches to the main building to allow access and workflow without parts or people going outside. We may see this extend the width of the building, though it doesn't look like it to me. It's hard to see, but the work between the Phase 1 and Battery Building is still underway. The East Access Road and Bridge has moved quickly since last week, with nearly all of the bridge spans completed and road pavement well underway. This road is likely to be completed and open within the next month or so. The eastern parking lot expansion into the former farmland has seen significant new concrete completed, and the paving for this area is likely to be almost complete by next week's update. The area cleared out between the easternmost buildings now has a significant amount of construction material, and while this may just be a temporary staging area, it's also possible that this may transform into a building site in coming weeks, if not just an additional parking and car storage area. Later this week, I'll be putting up the first six months side-by-side -side comparison video, which will show the actual progress on each site at the six-month mark. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see which site is actually ahead at this point and see who is kicking the greatest quantity of ass. Giga Berlin. The angled corner of the main building now has new columns and even wall segments in place, as well as more roof area closed in. Along the front, we can see a whole new fire escape segment has been built, with more coming soon thanks to these pieces here. There are a lot more wall segments put in place as well, and there are also more structural elements like roof beams. On the east side, we can see two more fire escapes have been constructed as well. Thank you to my Patreons who get bonus content, an inside look, and help keep the channel running. I can't do this without you guys, so a big shout out to new Patreon, gotta be kidding at the cool level, and Jonathan Nell and Kevin Stevens, who just joined at the very cool level, and Bruce Gamble, who just upgraded his support as well. Very cool.
tree clearing has resumed toward the northeast corner of the site. Whatever obstacles that were slowing this has apparently been mitigated, but it's not moving at the sort of speed we've seen at this site in the past. It's likely that there's limited urgency since if it's going to be parking or a staging area, there's no immediate need for it to get done. And if they plan to launch straight into phase two, they won't need it ready for a few more weeks until the primary work on phase one nears completion. I ran a video a couple days ago explaining why Berlin is likely just five months from initial production with footage taken from inside the building. So if you haven't seen that one yet, you should check it out because the view inside the building, as well as the pilot who captured it, are insane. Giga Texas. The Northeast stamping area has gone from a dozen concrete columns to having virtually all of them in place, with massive foundation work for the stamping machines already being poured. There are currently four of these, but it appears this will expand to six or perhaps even eight. The eastward expansion of the steel building has tripled in size, with the long building extending further south. A new structure has emerged at the east side and sprouted from nothing in a very short time. The concrete bunker has gone from about half framed to completely with two thirds of the roof in place and significant concrete floor work inside. Wall elements are already on site but have yet to be attached anywhere just yet. If you're following the weekly Giga Texas completion math tracker series, you're going to be in for some big news when that comes out later tonight or early tomorrow. You can see past weeks of that going back over a month and subscribe so you can see this week's update when it's released. There they are, those may be the wall panels right there. On the west side, the number of footings has increased significantly, expanding further to the south toward the concrete staging area. In addition to the foundation and footing work, the West Steel Building has expanded dramatically as well, roughly tripling in size with three and four story areas. It now extends to within 70 feet of the main building along the central corridor.
The six month progress tracker will be out this week and I've got some new additions to it to further show which site between Shanghai, Berlin, and Texas is truly rocking the tightest socks. There are also some areas with new earthworks for reasons as yet unknown. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots, even with all your much-appreciated snark.